Hey everyone, this is Ante from Catholic Etc. This week I'll be sharing with you my testimony in faith, and naturally we'll start in the beginning. So I am a cradle Catholic, so Catholic from birth, baptized as a child, and grew up in the faith in a very traditional home. Uh, Mass was a big thing in our life. We did all the typical Catholic practices. I always knew what we needed to do, when we needed to do it during the year, but never really why. We didn't really get that uh, deep explanation and formation at home nor, nor at church. Uh, therefore, my confirmation was very much like a graduation and it didn't really take much home after that. And moving forward into high school and university, I, I drifted quite a bit in those years. I uh, got lost, very, lived very much a hedonistic lifestyle, lots of addictions, just wasn't uh, living a virtuous life, moral life. And it, I don't look back fondly on those years. And that, that whole period lasted about uh, a decade. And as St. Augustine says, my heart is restless until it finds rest in thee. And it wasn't until my, my mid-20s that in uh, 2011 I got invited to a concert by a group called Hillsong United. And I've never heard of these guys. Uh, some of you may have never heard of them, but those that have, you know, what are, you know where I'm going with this. And halfway through this, this concert, you know, it already wasn't a place that I was used to. Everybody was sober, it was bright, it was light. Uh, There's joy in this place. And these songs were more prayers than anything. And one of the ones that came on was called All I Need Is You. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. It was pure Holy Spirit. Uh, it took me to my knees, I was in tears. It was one of those moments, you know, your life flashing before your eyes, you know, looking at, you know, who I was, what I was doing, where I was headed along that route with my habits and my and my vices. And I'm just like, that's that's not onto, that's not who I'm supposed to be as a, as a son of God, as a future husband, as a future father. And I, I realized then, like that night, that I needed to change my ways. And I decided I need to do a 180 and head in the right direction this way instead of that way. <laughs> and it was a grind and it still is to this day. And it wasn't a 180 degree miraculous turn. It's, it's a one degree grind and you know, every day is, and that's what I always say, uh, but, it's, but it's worth it. You know, Christ says, you know, that the gate to heaven is, is very, very narrow. The path to heaven is very narrow. Uh, the path to destruction is wide and many, many fall, fall upon it. And I was on the wrong path. For many years and you know, I realized no no more and I got a head on the straight and narrow and uh, there's bumps and bruises along the way and you know thank God over these years I've developed a lot of solid uh, faithful friendships with people that have the same fire and zeal as myself and Roberta and along those years though I've also lost a lot of friends uh, they didn't like Ante 2.0 I've had a lot of uh, contention over the years, uh, in the workplace even, of all places, I've had two grueling political campaigns, attacks on my character, on my family, on my convic convictions, but that's expected uh, being a, a follower of the cross and, and being loud and proud uh, about our faith. And it is what it is and I, I embrace it and, and I take it as a compliment. Uh, so over the years, I uh, got deeper in the faith with my Bible, scripture, uh, the rosary. I actually met Roberta through the rosary. There's something called the 54 day miraculous novena and lots of other novenas nine days before that. Uh, or sorry, nine day novenas as they say. And just, I fell in love with Christ and his church and did a lot of spiritual reading. I decided to even take studies uh, with the new St. Thomas Institute in theology, philosophy and apologetics. Uh, and that really equipped me uh, to know my faith, defend my faith, and I fell in love with it on a whole new level after that. And uh, through all these years, I uh, was working as an engineer. I went to uh, school at McMaster University, did my undergrad there, and, and that was kind of my nine to five, but more like my like seven to seven. Uh, it was pretty all-encompassing and, and uh, consuming. Uh, but in, in, in my nights and my weekends, uh, I, I made a lot of time for the Palm Parish, and, and, which is Queen of Peace in Norval, and we started up a youth and young adult ministry there, and that was a blast. Met a lot of beautiful people there um, that I grew up with that you know, also rekindled re, uh, their faith, and uh, over those years I had a long distance relationship, uh, which was great in itself, uh, but it also allowed me to do all these things here on the home front. And then I'll, I met Roberta, which will be another story for a different day in a different video. Uh, but when I got with Roberta and within our first year, uh, there's a lot of discernment as to if I should carry on and, and continue doing what I was doing. Because, you know, deep in the faith, you know, I, I just was so in love with, 
with, with God and, and his church and, and, and I just felt like I needed to do more for him. Uh, I knew he gave me gifts and I, and I wanted to use them uh, to their max potential. And at that time I, I decided to resign from my uh, career in engineering and I left to pursue a full-time uh, job in, in youth ministry. And it's been, it's been an absolute blast uh, since I've done that about two years ago now. There's so much job satisfaction, nothing really compares to it. Obviously the money's not what it was used to, uh, as I used to make, but you can't compare to, to the joy that I see in, in leading these, these youth and these teens uh, closer to Christ, nothing, nothing compares to that. I just wanna read this verse from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. Uh, this verse has resonated with me for years and every line carries so much weight. Uh, the first one says, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. That's self-explanatory. Like my life was totally renewed and, and the strength and the courage and, and the spine that has been infused uh, in me uh, to, to be the man that I'm called to be, to stand up uh, for the vulnerable and, and to speak the truth boldly. Um, you, you can't, you can't deny that. Christ just equips us. Um, we just have to be available and he makes us able and he gives us the words and he gives us the wisdom uh, when we need it. Uh, they will soar on eagles' wings. To be honest, since I had my awakening, like I've never had a bad day. Um, there are hard days, but I've never been mad, I've never been sad, I've never, I've never been depressed. Uh, you know, it's a grace, I mean, thank God, no desolations. But when you have the hope of the Lord, when you have the hope of heaven, Nothing in this world uh, can phase you. This life is fleeting and, and nothing can hurt us. They can take our body, but they can't take our soul. And, and when you're tight with Christ and, and Our Lady and, and you have your eyes on the prize and, and you're girded uh, with the Word of God, you know, nothing, nothing can touch you, no one can hurt you. Uh, so I, I truly feel, you know, we should all be soaring on eagle's wings like this and feeling like that uh, in our daily life. And that comes only through Christ. And this last one, uh, they will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. This one's huge. It's 2020, June 2020. Everybody knows what's going on in the world right now. It's a crazy one out there. I truly believe we're living in the end times. And it's tough more than ever uh, to live a Catholic life, to live a virtuous life, a moral life. And I've, I've repeated myself so many times already in this video, but if we have the word of God, if we cling to the beads on the most holy rosary, our sacramentals, uh, the cross of Christ, you know, our devotions, our novenas, anything is possible. And, and the war has been won. And, and right now, guys, we're just in a battle for souls. And we just need to cling to our Lord, cling to our lady. We have all the ammunition we need and truth and love, that will be our victory. And I just want to thank you for, for listening. I uh, got into a little Bible study there at the end, but there'll be more of this, and Roberta will be up next. Uh, God bless you and your family, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. Good night, God bless.